okay so this you have seen the specimen again so it's a sagittal section of the head and the neck region so orientation is this is a cranial fossa you can able to see the nose and this is a palate below it is the tongue you can able to see the mandible so whatever you are seeing this cavity which is a cavity of the larynx okay how to identify the cartilage so first you can able to see the bone here this is a hyoid bone now you can able to see the thyroid cartilage more anteriorly you can able to see the thyroid cartilage and below it is a cricoid cartilage so hyoid bone thyroid cartilage cricoid cartilage now i'm going more posteriorly above us you can able to see this one which is a epiglottis just going down you can able to see the hole is the cricoid lamina and above the cricoid this triangular is the arytenoid just when i'm reflecting you can able to see a fold between the arytenoid and the epiglottis which is called the aryepiglottic fold in the aryg epiglottic fold you can able to see the two nodule there are two pad cartilage which is a corniculate and cuneiform so this is the inlet of larynx laterally by the aryg epiglottic fold now and the fossus is going inside into the cavity as i mentioned this membrane is called quadrangular membrane or quadrate membrane here you can able to see two folds so this is called the vestibular fold which is nothing but the false occal cord whereas here it is a true occal cord which is also called occal fold and in between this portion is called as a sinus of larynx okay so above it is vestibule in between the two folds it is a sinus of larynx even it has a small diverticulum which is called the saccule of larynx then this portion is called as a infraglottic portion so this hole is the cavity of the larynx now this whole cavity of the larynx just when you see in this specimen this is a whole larynx this is a posterior view i am just reflecting the pharynx aspect now whatever you are seeing here it is the whole of the larynx so i'm just reflecting can able to see the two folds on both the sides okay can able to see here so this is epiglottis these are the two folds this is a vestibular fold and here is a occal fold so i'm reflecting clearly can able to see this is a two fold a vestibular fold and the occal fold similarly vestibular fold and the occal fold so this is called as the whole is called sinus of larynx but when you come adheres with both the sides both the vestibular fold the space between like a v shaped space it's called rima vestibuli similarly when i'm just uh, opening the two true occal folds like this v shaped gap is called as a the glottis the main glottis which is the most narrowest anteroposterior diameter of the larynx so space between the two vestibular is called rima vestibuli and the space between the two occal fold is called rima glottidis